Hey, welcome back to Self Built. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys an advanced training technique which is called the two step rep. Now, this one is super fun, it's very challenging, and it's something that is probably new to a lot of you people. There's a lot of benefits to it, but basically what you're doing is you're taking a normal rep and you're cutting it in half and turning it into almost two reps. So let's say for example, I'm gonna be doing some rows. So normally you'll have the bar and you're just gonna pull it straight up and then down. So that's typical for the two-step rep. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be all the way down. We're gonna go about halfway, completely stop so there's no momentum or anything and then continue back up again. There's a lot of benefits of what that does. First thing is it helps you have a lot more muscle activation. It's crazy. <laughs> Try it if you don't believe me. But it takes all the momentum out of a normal range of motion, which even if you're doing good form, when you start and it starts to move, there's still a little bit of momentum of it. So it takes that completely out. So it's strictly a lot more muscle activation based. And it puts more time under tension on the muscles. If you're not familiar with that, there's a training principle with the more time that your muscles under a tension or some sort of resistance, the harder it makes it. And also when you have a home gym or if you're just at a normal gym, you don't have to use nearly as much weight as you normally would when you're doing two step reps. To give you an example, I usually shoot for a weight that I can typically do about 20 reps and I'll try to do 10 reps of the two step rep. And it's still very challenging. So that's just kind of a marker for you when it's new. Just kind of go for that, what you can do for 20 reps and give it a try, see what you think. And the one last thing that I've noticed is Basically, it goes along with using lighter weight. When you have lighter weight, it does a lot less um, strain on your joints or any troubling areas that you may have. So there's another thing to keep in mind, helps with longevity as well. And it's something new, super fun. So let me show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you on this Smith machine. I'm gonna show you some rows and I might show you a little bit of chest exercises with it. So let's get it. Okay, so I'm going to show you the two-step rep just on a demo with some bent over rows on the Smith machine. So whenever you're doing a row, just flare your lats out before you even start, just to kind of keep that mind-muscle connection. Choose whatever width that you are going to be doing for that time. Mine's a little bit of a narrower grip that I'm doing today. So what you're going to do is go down normal. So this is as far as I'm going to go down on these ones. And then I'm gonna go halfway up here, completely stop, and then go all the way back up. That's one rep. Let's do another one. You're gonna notice you're gonna start getting tired pretty fast. lost track of how many I was doing so hopefully that was around 10 but that kind of gives you an example of what it looks like for back but you can use this same thing on anything shoulders legs chest biceps triceps I mean it's a very good different technique that really awakens how much momentum you use even when you're not really using cheating momentum or anything like that so I'll show you another example of a chest exercise and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, this next one I'm just gonna show you on is some inclined cable flies. And with this, I've got light weight, light that I, weight that I'd usually do about 20 or so reps with. But since I'm doing the two-step rep, it basically <clears throat> makes it twice as hard. 
So I'm gonna go for 10. So just to kind of show you, so I'll start and then stop here, and then continue right there, and then just keep it controlled the whole time down, back to half, and then to the top again. And what you'll notice is there is so much more chest activation, especially when you get to that half rep and you get to the top after that, because towards the bottom, you'll feel it a lot more in the shoulders for flies instantly, if that's even a word. Of course it is, I just said it. But you'll go here and then you'll squeeze it together and you can just feel that in the inner chest just really having to take over because there's no momentum of it from the bottom. And you'll just feel it starting to get harder and harder. But it's a good one. It also helps you keep that focus on the muscle that you should be training. So you're not just throwing the weight around with any muscle that you can, you're trying to really pinpoint and focus on what you're trying to hit. Ooh. <sighs> so there's an example of that for you. And one of the biggest things that I noticed with the two-step rep of it being incredibly harder than just normally is just the side laterals. I mean, I've got just some 15 pounders right here. And typically, I mean, you try not to use much momentum, but even if you're doing pretty good like that, you're still using some momentum. So when you go halfway stop and then you go up to the top, it's a completely different ball game. You go there and then go again. That way there is absolutely no cheating, no momentum. And it is all on the shoulders. So that is definitely one that I was like, holy cow, that is crazy. But it's great for back, chest, legs. I haven't tried it for abs. Maybe I'll have to try that. Whew. But it is a fun one. So if you've been working out for a while and you want to try something new, give that a try. Tell me what you think. I've got a couple more whew, episodes of different techniques we can use to help get the most out of our gym, whether we're at home, whether we're at the gym, doesn't matter what you're doing because training techniques can change just a normal exercise into a completely different one, way harder, way more fun. So get it ready for that. And if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe over here, download, download, comment down below, and we will see you next time on Self Built.